Perhaps... The plot thickened. The incarnation was actually some kind of monster, and he tried to attack you in your sleep. I heard him shouting something about the Sword of Light as I ran to your room. I guess he wanted to steal it from you, the nasty bird. <laughs> Who does he think he is sneaking into your room while you're asleep? Oh, he's not going to get away with it. Let's track him down so I can give him a piece of my mind. How awful. You're right, aren't you, Chad? Oh, thank goodness. <sighs> that rat, it was all a trick. He and he held that big kid just to lure us into the castle. Come on, let's get him. He can't have gone far. <sighs> my poor father, he was Mordigan's puppet. That was why he called you the Darkspawn and had you thrown in prison. So it all makes sense. <sighs> Mordigan has been pulling the wool over everyone's eyes since the day dungeons will fell. Can I forgive him for this? But we need to be careful, laddie. Who knows what he'll do when he's quartered? Who have I served all these years? Not a man, but a monster. I doubt there's anybody in here, but it looks like everybody's got new dialogue, so let's make sure there's no new dialogue in here. I sense something ominous emanating from the throne room. I would record your deeds in an adventure log before heading that way if I were you. There was all this noise coming from the guest rooms, and then Sandy jumped up and ran off toward the throne room. I wonder if she wouldn't say boo to a goose, just what got into her? It's kind of like the Terminator Syndrome here, the dog knows that's an evil dude. Oi, well, let me tell you again, shift yourself you lazy lava or I'll find you for um, door blocking with intent. Hmm, I slept on the fear a few floors in the meantime, but this has to be the comfiest lot. Let's wish the blooming guards in the throne would stop shouting, can't they see I'm trying to get some kip? Okay, I'm actually surprised it let me run out. <laughs> okay. Perhaps. The celebration is still in full flow. Our hero returns to his chamber to rest, but as he slumbers, King Conan steals into his room, intent on claiming the Sword of Light for himself. He fails to lay his hands upon his prize, however, and as trans companions burst into the room, they can see the king for what he truly is. You're looking a little peaky. Did you have one too many helps in the dessert at the banquet? You should go and walk it off. What are you doing here? Did you lose something? Folks up at the castle will be wondering where you are. I I I'm very flattered, of course, but this doesn't seem like the best time to make plans for the future. Let's wait until things calm down and see how we feel then, okay? No an ominous atmosphere of evil is pervading the whole castle, but never mind all that. Are you gonna marry me or what? Wait, silly, the castle's full of guards, isn't it? No sensible thief would come anywhere near the place. What's all the commotion about? Everyone seems to be headed to the throne room. Did some thief sneak in during the banquet or something? Everyone said she had a bad feeling about something, dashed off in rather a hurry towards the throne room. Something's not quite right. One can feel it in one's bones. First, I heard all the kerfuffle coming from one of the guest rooms, and then the dog started barking. I wonder what can be going on. There's something nasty in there, but I can't see monsters anywhere. Don't ask me what's going on, I only work here. This is terrifying, I can't feel my fingers. There was a scream and I was gripped by this terrible fear. I don't know what's happening. You know, I've never been this scared in my life. Will I ever play the loot again? I wanted to impress that pretty blonde girl by striding manfully into the throne room and seeing what all the fuss was about. The only problem is a scary witness, I can't move a muscle. Um, why do me a favor and go in there and see what's happening? I heard some kind of ruckus coming from the direction of the guest rooms, and then I saw that young dancing chap in the tights race by. He really is an amazing specimen. Even at full pelt, he was a picture of grace, elegance, and perfect balance. What's up the fuss? Are a couple pirate guards having a brawl or something? Uh, is it me or is it just freezing all of a sudden? They might be coming down with something. If the king catches sight of me like this, I'm lucky to keep my job. Ugh. Yes, I know, this is not the way to the throne room. <laughs> Gotta check out all the new dialogue. What's going on? Everyone's running around like a bunch of headless chickens. I've got a dodgy back, so I ain't gonna be much use to anyone. I reckon you should go and see what's happening, though. dog was barking outside the king's chamber and suddenly ran off toward the throne room. Just who or what is in there? All I can hear is this horrible groaning sound. I'm so scared I can't move. Where can the king have got to? I just checked his room but he's nowhere to be seen. Oh, I hope he's alright. Where's personal guard? We're not supposed to let anything happen to him. The stupid dog is making a noose of itself right outside the king's chamber and suddenly raced off towards the throne room. I'm supposed to be guarding Princess Jade's room but I've half a mind to bend my post so I can see what's happening.
Okay. Oh my head, can someone tell the dog to shut up? Ah, Tran, I'm sorry, sorry to ask, but would you mind opening that door? I don't know who's in there or how they manage to sneak in, but we can't just leave them in there. Obviously, I'd go myself, but I I'm scared. That growling doesn't sound human. I know this should be a job for the castle guys, but we're too frightened to move. What's going on? First the king vanishes, then there's all this noise from your bedroom, and as if that wasn't enough, now this dog won't shut up. The banquet was supposed to be an evening of fun, but this isn't my idea of a good time, I can tell you. I was sleeping off the after effects of the banquet, that dog woke me up barking. It sounded like all hell was breaking loose. Rough. You cornered! Now let the king go, and show us your true form, fiend! Unmasked at last. I have been enjoying Carnelian's hospitality since the day Dundrasil fell. <sighs> but the game ends here. I have wasted too much time already waiting for you to lead me to the Sword of Light. And since I was unable to steal it from you, it seems I must take it by force. Very well. Come to Mordigan like good little lambs and die. <sighs> Mordigan, so it's you. I've waited years for this day to come. Not only Jasper, but his majesty too. Your deception shall not go unpunished, devil. You have been a serviceable puppet over the years, Hendrik. But it is time you joined your wretched kinfolk in hell. <sighs> My... Do you mean it was you? You who massacred my people? It was all you, wasn't it? The destruction of Dundrasil. The family's torn apart. You've stolen so much from so many, and now you're going to pay. I stand with you, Luminary. My loved ones, my countrymen, they must be avenged. I'm with you too. This is the guy who's had it in for you all this time, right? Let's show him who he's been messing with. What are you waiting for? Come, give me your power, that I may rule over this world unopposed! <sighs> Mordigan draws near. Hey, Hendrix helping out with the battle. You want my power? Take this. Oh! <laughs> 
Mortigan is defeated. Again! No! I remember is the attack on Dundras, so after that, all is black. <sighs> <gasps> Wait, that mark. The child, the luminary. But you were a mere babe in arms when I last saw you. There is clearly much we need to discuss, but, but you must forgive me. I'm still feeling rather faint. <coughs> Father, you mustn't overexert yourself. Come on, let's get you to bed. I need to look after him. We'll meet here again tomorrow, all right? <coughs> Oof. Those two are going to have a lot to catch up on, huh? A lot. Word soon spreads through the castle that King Canary has been under the spell of an evil demon. While the king recovers, Trent and his companions get some much needed rest. Then, that evening... Here today, Mortigan tomorrow. Warded for going back in time and thwarting the malevolent machinations of the scheming sorcerer, Mortigan. Achievement luck, the final fight. King Carnian arrives and having thanked Tran for unmasking Jasper's deceit, he invites him back to Heliodor Castle where a banquet is held in his honor. The king officially recognizes Tran as the Luminary and the revelry continues long into the night. While sleeping soundly after a long night of merrymaking, Tran is awoken by King Carnian's failed attempt to steal the Sword of Light. King flees the scene, but the party corner him in the throne room where his true identity is revealed. He is none other than the monster sorcerer Mortigan. A fierce battle ensues, with the fiend is no match for our heroes. With Mortigan defeated at last, the true King Carnian regains consciousness and is reunited with his long-lost daughter Jade. Good morning, Tran. I hope you slept well. Princess Jade wanted me to tell you that the King needs to speak with you. he will be waiting for you in the throne room, apparently. I hope it's good news. We've had enough bad news to last this lifetime. Whatever it is, you can walk in there with your head held high. I'm proud of you. We all are. If you had not defeated the evil spirit that possessed the king, it would have doubtless led the kingdom to ruin. We owe you our gratitude, and much more than that, we owe you our lives. Someone throws a bank in your honor. Most people would never think to question their host's true intention. But you're different. You sense that all was not as a scene, and that the king was in fact a monster. You shall light into that darkness and discover the truth. Only the Luminary could work such wonders. I've heard all about your exploits. It seems you defeated the demon who had taken control of the king. Marvelous, simply marvelous. As soon as I heard that, it all made sense. The king was possessed by an evil force. Why else would he have traded someone as important as myself in so cavalier a fashion?
It's a real honor that someone as big and important as the Luminary would bother speaking to a lowly maid. He has been waiting for you to throw him since first thing this morning. You should be wasting your time on the likes of me. Maybe I'd rather talk to you than the king. Good morning, Trent. What a delightful morning it is. We owe it all to you, of course. When I went out to the castle gardens today, the leaves of that magnificent tree sound like they were whispering in the breeze. I know this might sound mad, but I could have sworn they were saying thank you, Luminary. You and plants are grateful for all you've done. His Majesty awaits you in the throne room. Savior Hiller, please go and see Kanye in the throne room. Your life is dead. First his hometown of Dungersville was destroyed, then his adopted home of Cobblestone was burned to the ground. Nothing to keep the Luminary down, it seems, and now we know the truth about King Kanye, and Heliodor is saved. Bravo, I say. Bravo. I'm not the Luminary, I'm not a prince. I really know which end of the sword to hold. How can I compete? Good morning, Tran. It's so lovely outside, isn't it? Feels like a fresh start for everyone. We're so grateful for all you've done, Tran. You saved Hilidor from the forces of darkness, and for that, we'll never forget you. I still can't work it out. All the people who spoke to the King over the years, and no one saw through him. Me included. I was serving a monster for all that time, and I never noticed a thing. How could I be so blind? I'm ashamed of myself. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, you mean like, the, the dogs could tell. All those years, all those years they were ruled by a monster. Thank goodness you came to the rescue. All we can do now is try to make up for lost time. The king is expecting you. Please, go up to the throne room. His majesty awaits you in the throne room. Sir Hedrick is originally from the kingdom called Svardras, but when he was a child, his home was destroyed by monsters. King Conian took him in and raised him. He swore to repay that kindness by giving his life to his majesty in service. You can only imagine how it must feel to find out so many of those years were spent serving someone completely different. Mrs. Jade told me everything. She told me how Sir Jasper was manipulated by the demon that possessed the king and was then cast aside when he was no longer of any use. He'd never show it, but all of this must have hit Sir Hedrick harder than anyone. He and Sir Jasper grew up together after all. When the king was carried in here, he was in a terrible state. I wasn't sure he was going to make it. But Princess Jade tended to him all night long, and now he's out of danger and can't even walk by himself. It just goes to show the power of a daughter's love. I remember when you first set off of Cobblestone as if it were yesterday. Now you're about to be fated as a hero by the King of Helidor himself. Oh, you have come far. So much has happened since we saw you off way back when. I never would have imagined, but all's well that ends well, as they say. Now it's finally time for you to go and see the real king, and be proclaimed the one and only Luminary. And this is so exciting, you're off to meet the real king. Well, remember to mind your P's and Q's, eh? Only kidding, I'm sure you'll be fine. Oh, ho, ho. one has never seen one's dearest darling Dirk quite so excited one before. He's ecstatic at your finally being able to speak with the true king, as am I. One wishes you all the luck in the world. Three cheers for the Luminary, hip it! Um, anyone? Woof woof. Well, what can I say? My little soldier's done his old mom proud yet again. Now run along to see the king. Your granddad will be looking down on you from heaven with a big smile on his face, I'm sure. What are you doing? The king's waiting for you in the throne room, you know? Yeah, I know. I want to keep him waiting. The king is eager to speak with you. Please enter. His majesty awaits you in the throne room. You're still going to need more guards if you want to stop me. I know the truth now. Hard as it was to swallow. The things I did while under the monster's spell are almost too terrible to contemplate. If not for you, this kingdom, no, this entire world would have been turned to ashes. All would have been lost to Mordigan. A true hero stands among us. Adria is eternally in your debt. You are a worthy heir to the legendary Erdwin. Truly, you are the luminary 
our light, and our hope. We really did it, huh? What's the matter, Veronica? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I just welled up all of a sudden. I'm just glad to be here with all of you, I suppose. <laughs> but where else would you be, you silly thing? You, you're right. I'm being stupid, sorry. Thank you for everything. <laughs> if only the Luminate can go back in time, how did that little sprite get it? Is he the... is he urban? What's going on? I sense something awful. Something truly, truly evil. But where is it coming from? What was it Mordigan said just before he died? Something about not being the only one who defied the flow of time, right? But what did he mean? <sighs> Your Highness, please, you must come quickly. It's Erdwin's lantern. What? Uh... The balcony, upstairs, quickly. <sighs> Hmm. Do not think you are the only one who has defied the flow of time. Any idea what Morgan meant by that, Tran? Hmm. This is serious. If something's wrong with Edward's lantern, it doesn't bode well for us, or for anyone. Hmm. Back, I've been hoping to go and tell Erwin and Eleanor that we've finally beaten Morgan, but it seems I'll have to put that plan on hold. Uh. I can't believe this. After beating Morgan, now it's all set for wild applause, accolades, general adulation, and then this has to go and happen. Come on, let's follow the king to the top of the castle. Uh. This isn't the time for idle chit chat, Tran. We need to get to the balcony at the top of the castle and see what's going on with Urban's Lantern. Hmm. Urban's Lantern is the symbol of the Luminary. We must find out what's going on. Tran has traveled back through time, arriving in Arborean Highlands with the Sword of Shadows in hand. Upon reaching Arboria, he is reunited with his companion and they journey together to the heart of Idriso. When they get there, everything happens as it did before and they are attacked by Jasper. But armed with his new sword and the knowledge of what his enemy is planning, our hero is able to thwart the attack and give Jasper his just desserts. After a banquet in Heliodor Castle in Trans Honor, Morgan's manipulation of King Carnelian is revealed, and the party engage him in a pitched battle, eventually overcoming him. The sorcerer's spell broke, and the true King Carnelian regains consciousness and is reunited with his long lost daughter, Jade. He thanks Tran, proclaiming him the Luminary and the scion of the legendary hero Erdwin. Just as the castle is beginning to fill with joy at the realization that Erdria is free from the threat of Morgan's machinations, darkness falls. It seems that the star known as Erdwin's Lantern is falling from the sky. You've seen the sky, haven't you, Tran? It doesn't look good. It doesn't look good at all. The king was in a real state. He raced off upstairs. I reckon you should join him. He's going to need your help. We all are. I was sent on sentry duty outside when I happened to glance up at the sky, and that's when I saw it. Erdwin's lantern looming right overhead. I have no idea what's happening, but I've got a strange feeling it might have something to do with you. <laughs> you should join the king on the balcony. I just need to catch my breath. <sighs> I could tell you what's going on, but I reckon it's probably better if you see for yourself. Just when I thought your adventures were at an end, it seems you got yet more to contend with. Well, first things first, you better find out what's going on with the sky. The way the Kingdom's guards are acting it's like something's very wrong indeed. Oh dear me, the air is so heavy it's painful to breathe. Blimey, have you seen the state of the sky? I'm not normally a nervous type, but it's got me pretty worried, I ain't gonna lie to you. Well, as long as you have the old mucker Eric and his pal Illuminator are on the side, we don't have nothing to worry about, right? This will be terrifying. Please, you have to promise you won't leave one on one's own, Dirk, my darling. Don't worry, Sandy. Don't worry, girl. You'll be safe with me, I promise. Hmm. Never seen Sir Hendrik lose his cool, but when he and the king rushed past, I swear he almost looked panicked. What are they doing heading up to that balcony anyways? Since ancient times, people have believed that when the stars move, the fate of mankind hangs in the balance. 
Now it seems something has happened to Erdwin's lantern. We can only pray that this isn't the prelude to some terrible calamity. Now things had settled down, but oh no, now the sky has gone dark and people are running around in a blind panic. I saw the king run out onto the balcony. What in the world could have caused him such distress? As we are celebrating the luminous heroic and the return of the king, this has to go and happen. When you went to the top floor of the castle, you should join him there as quickly as you can. Have you seen this guy? It doesn't look like good news is on its way. One of the guards says something about Erdrin's lantern. What's that got to do with anything? It seemed like a fairy tale ending. The Luminar had fulfilled his destiny, the king was saved, and we could finally live in peace. But sadly, things aren't so simple. It seems a higher power has ordained that the sword of the Luminar and the kingdom of Hither is not over yet. Don't tell me there's a storm coming. Anything with that? I'm absolutely petrified of thunder. The guards are muttering something about the sky. What's happening? Is there a storm on the way? Well, they don't have to worry. The castle isn't going to blow away. Something's going on upstairs. I hope it's nothing bad. What's happening? The guard just rushed past with a terrified look on his face. Head down the corridor outside the throne room and then take the stairs. You'll find the king out on the balcony. Quick, you have to go and see what's going on. Oh, Tran, I thought you would be in the throne room. What are you doing here? It all happened so suddenly. The sky changed color. I suddenly got this awful sinking feeling. There's something going on up at the balcony, and I thought things were getting back to normal. The drama never ends, it seems. It feels like something very bad is about to happen. I've never seen the sky this color. It changed just like that. Whatever's going on, it's not good. The guard who was posted outside just raced past. He didn't look happy. He was wondering something about some star or other. What could he have seen? I'm sure that guard said something about Urgent's nighttime as he rushed past. What's going on? What's on this side already? I was very concerned about the king's health. He had been thrown out evil being for a very long time, after all, but he's been recovering well. Yet now it seems he has another crisis to contend with. I know he is the king, but this cannot be good for him. Nothing's what it seems. You are at the dark spawn, the king was possessed by a demon, now the sky has changed color. And there I was, hoping things were finally going to settle down. No such luck, it seems. It's just one blooming thing after the other, isn't it? Well, a piece is a prize that isn't easily won, I suppose. The guards are tearing about the place, shouting about balconies and stars, and who knows what else. I don't have the first clue what's going on. Please go ahead. It seems you're needed urgently. I've heard from Sir Hendrick that something has happened to Erdman's lantern. But do not take my word for it. You should go and see for yourself. Head on to the balcony? Yes. <laughs> huh? The sky. I have never seen its like. Look! Over there! Erdwin's lantern! It's falling! Yeah, I don't know how you traveled back in time if only Luminar can go. But Mordigan is no more. Now, none stand in my way. Now is my time. Now I am whole again. I am
Edwin's lantern has fallen. I fear this bodes ill for us all. I dare make this request of no other luminary. I must ask that you investigate. The great star fell to earth in the celestial sands. They can be seen from the Emerald Coast. That must be your first port of call. Sire, I would ask your leave to join this expedition. Hmm. I cannot atone for all that I have done. But perhaps in joining you, I might repay my debt at least in part. Luminary, I will be your sword, your shield, your unswerving companion. Hendrik rejoins the party. You are level 36. You suck, man. Hmm. Hmm. Red Lantern is a symbol of the Luminary Trend. So come on, we need to find out what's going on. It's just our adventure isn't over yet. The days when I called you Darkspawn are long gone, Tran. You have let me join you, and for that I am grateful. I will do all I can to protect you. I'll be your sword and your shield. Hmm. Did Morgan come to Yggdrasil in search of the Sword of Light? If that's the case, just what in the world was he planning on doing with it? Well, he turned it into the Sword of Shadows and then sliced up the star. Drat. Can't believe this. After beating Morgan, I was all set for a wild applause. Hmm. Okay. Hendrik was known far and wide as the Pride of Halidor. He was a nightmare to have as an enemy, but as an ally, he's hard to beat. Now let's get to the Emerald Coast and see what's going on with Erdwin's Lantern. Oh wait, he probably doesn't have dual wielding ability. Sir Hedrick's going with you, isn't he? He's the pride of Hilador. He really is. There's nothing he wouldn't do to protect this kingdom. That doesn't mean it'll be lost without him. Oh no, we'll keep it nice and safe until he returns. I dare to think what'd happen if you hadn't been there to free the kingdom from the demon's clutches. Now I seem to rely on you once again. Please, Tran, find out what's happened to Urban's Lantern. People are already starting to panic. He thanks Tran, proclaiming him the Luminary and the sign of the legendary hero Erdwin. And just as the castles begin to fill with joy at the realization that Adria is free from the threat of Mordigan's machinations, darkness falls. It seems that the star known as Erdwin's Lantern is falling from the sky. Hendrik joins the party, pledging to be the Luminary's shield, and the friends take to the road once more, this time to investigate the troubling descent of the star. So Erdwin's Lantern has fallen from the sky. What can this signify? People are beginning to panic. We must find out what is happening. This is a task I must entrust to you, Tran. The lantern hangs above the celestial sands. The Marvel Coast should provide you with a safe vantage point from which to view it more closely. Ah, Tran, I've been beside myself with where ever since I heard about Erdvin's Lantern. Stars falling out of the sky can't be a good sign. Please do whatever you can to protect us. Fear not, while you and Sir Hedrick get away, we doughty men of Heliodor shall defend the kingdom with our lives. You know the funniest thing? I have an odd feeling that it bait for one of you and Sir Hedrick once before, but when could that have been? Think his majesty lost so many years of that foul demon. This has caused incalculable suffering to him and those close to him. I just hope that one day the king and princess Jade will be able to live a happy, peaceful life together, just as they once did. If only Sir Jasper could be there to share that happiness with them. Even if we should enjoy a peaceful future, all the time Mordigan stole from us with his foul deception cannot be recovered. I cannot imagine how much pain he has inflicted on you. Not to mention Princess Jade, King Robert, and of course our own king. I do hope the king will take it easy. He still hasn't fully recovered from all he's been through. I know he'll want to do all he can to put the past behind him, but he needs to take it slowly. Why are you letting me in now? Boring looking book. Recipe book of Regal Vigaya, but he knows all these.
What's all this then? Eh? One of the maids must have been keeping a cat. Shouldn't be in there with all the grub, but don't look like it's an area to go nowhere. Normally, protocol would demand that I forbid you from entering this room, but Princess Jade is giving you special permission. Go right ahead. I've got Princess Jade's room looking spick and sand, so I'll be ready for her when she gets back. She's gone for so long, I must have been through so much. The least we can do is make sure she has a nice room to come home to. You're not the proud men of Hilleroy. Defend the kingdom in your absence. With the mighty Sir Hendrik fighting alongside you, there will be no stopping you. So it seems you're leaving us again. Well, I don't know what you're going to be facing, but you can bet I'll be praying for you. It seemed like a fairy tale ending. The Luminary had fulfilled his destiny, the king was saved, and we can finally live in peace. But sadly, things aren't so simple. Not the superstitious sort, but when people start talking about stars falling out of the sky, even I start to get worried. After all, Erdrin's lantern is a symbol of hope for all life in Erdrin. We can't just have it plummeting from the heavens, can we? I think I've been gazing up at Erdrin's lantern since I was a little boy, and now in just a single night, it's not where it's always been. I'm not the religious sort, but at times like this, it makes you feel like a good prey might not go amiss. We know that Erdrin's lantern has been revered as a symbol of the Luminary since time immemorial, but the truth is, no one knows its true nature. Does the synth bode ill, or could it be a blessing? I have no idea, but I'm keeping my fingers crossed as the latter. I'm sorry, but until I see what's happened to Erdrin's Lantern with my own eyes, I'm not going to believe all the speculation and gossip. I mean, seriously, stars don't just fall out of the sky. The king said we could stay here for as long as we like. That was very nice of him. I wouldn't want to be traveling now. No, it's much better to wait until things calm down a bit. But I still can't help missing good old cobblestone. Just when I thought your adventures were at an end, it seems you've got yet more to contend with. But I know you're going to see things through. That's the cobblestone way. We're not quitters. I was hoping we'd be able to travel back to cobblestone together after you spoke to the king, but no such luck. It seems the Luminary's work is never done. But if you get time to pop into Cobblestone in your travels, well, you know, don't be a stranger. Good boy. Girl. I don't know. Girl, probably. Hearing me, it's all go, isn't it? Though sooner do you get to finally meet the real king than you're being sent off to another adventure. Well, when your granddad said you had things to do, he wasn't joking. I know you can do this. You're my little soldier, after all. To think you are really the next Luminary, heir to the legendary Erdwin. It's an honor to let you pass. You'll always be welcome here in Heliodor. Hey, listen, you have to help. We're starting to spread about Erdman's lantern. People are panicking. Please do something before this gets out of hand. You'd better hurry to the Emerald Coast and see what's what. Join the peas and quiet, but then the guards started getting worked up about something. I wonder what's going on. Is everything alright? I think I've met the love of my life, but how do I tell her? I don't want to pick the wrong moment and blow it. But now with Erdman's lantern looking like it's set to crash into the ground, it doesn't seem like I've got much to lose. Maybe I should just pot the question. I cannot know what the future may hold, but we must do all that we can to protect their noble bloodline. It cannot end with us. Wow, well, I can't see Erdman's lantern anywhere. Where's it gone? Guards aren't telling us anything, but I know something's wrong. Oh, I'm a bag of nerves. Please do all you can to protect us. You're our only hope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One minute I'm the dark spawn, the next I'm their only hope! There's something strange in the air, even the leaves rustling in the breeze sound eerie. I can't quite explain it, but it's like they're crying out for help. I've lived here in Heliodor all my life, but I've never felt such tension in the air. The idea of stars falling over the sky, I've never heard the like. It seems you saved our kingdom from a terrible fate. I only wish we knew for certain that meant the monsters weren't going to come back. We can't let our guard down yet. I have a feeling it's going to be a while before things are finally back to normal. I heard what happened on the night of the banquet. I'm going to protect the king and make sure nothing like that can happen again. I'm sure you do a fine job. Yeah, it feels like the end of the world. Please don't let Erdrin's lantern fall on Heliodor. One must confess that when one first heard about Erdrin's lantern, one really rather feared it was all over. But one's dearest darling Derek 
seems so sure of your abilities that one cannot help but join him in his optimism. Now get out there and do what you must do. Watcher, always a pleasure. Never a chore. Thanks for taking the time to visit me shop. Listen, whatever's going on in the world, I know you'll be able to handle it. You've been through it all before, after all. I understand the king has asked the princess and Sir Hendrik to join you on your latest adventure. Deep down, I am sure it will pain him greatly to see them leave. But then the king has never let himself be ruled by his emotions. He always puts his kingdom first. I hear that Princess Jade will be accompanying you on your adventures again. I fear the king will find himself rather lonely without her. He has had a hard time after all. First he lost his wife, and then he missed seeing his daughter grow up. If it were me, I'd be in bits. I suppose he's made of stronger stuff than that, but still, I do feel for him. Busy, busy, busy! I heard all about you. You saved the king and drove out the demon who was possessing him. You're a proper legend. Everyone's talking about you, you know. You're the toast of Heliodor. It's been a fair old while, but Sir Jasper still hasn't returned. I do hope nothing's happened to him. The king and Sir Hendrick arrived back at the castle ages ago. Who could you get to? It must be a tough old life being a luminary. You don't get a minute to yourself, do you? I couldn't handle all the demands on my time, that's for sure. Nope, that's one job I'm happy to leave to you. And then you do quests? No. So when we took a look here, I noticed that it says quest clear 47 of 59, so it looks like there's more quests I can do. What's the matter? All the girls are being strange and fidgety. What's going on? People are saying all sorts of things about Erdwin's lantern, but it's too far away to tell what's going on. That's not the half of it, then he... Ah, hello there. Tell me, is there something funny going on up at the castle? Nope. Well, that's good to hear. They don't hold banquets up there every day. So I suppose all the shouting and screaming I heard was just folks getting a bit carried away. What's that? The king was possessed by an evil demon? Haha, <laughs> sure, yeah, and I'm a monkey's uncle. Ugh, I was outside the city walls when I came dangerously close to being mauled by a monster. Watch the ones with green eyes. They're particularly savage, I warn you. New monsters? Hilidor region. <laughs> you know, I still can't get my head around it. One minute I'm a small time thief locked up in the dungeons, the next minute I'm fighting alongside Sir Hendrick himself. I guess life's funny like that, though, right? And I'm not going to complain about having him on board. He knows what he's doing with the sword, that's for sure. Okay. Hendrick was known far and wide as the pride of Hilidor. Hmm. Looking like a pretty formidable unit, laddie. I mean, you've gone from strength to strength, and now we've got young Hendrick on board, too. Oh. So I can't help feeling a wee bit nervous. There's something in the air, something dark and foreboding. I'm worried things will get worse before they get better. I've worked on some weird and wonderful ensembles in my time, but teaming with a Hendrick after all these years must be the most unexpected twist of them all. I wonder if he's still scared of the dark. Wait, ignore that! I was just thinking aloud! I've been thinking. Maybe I'd have a better view of Erdrin's lantern if Hendrick had given me a piggyback. I'll have to ask him next time. It still feels a bit weird that we're on the same side, but we'll get used to it. Life's full of surprises. Thank you for allowing me to join you, Tran. I feel nothing but shame when I think of the times I called you Darkspawn. Know that those days are gone. Now I'm at your service, and that of the princess. I will fight to defend you to the very end. It still feels strange to be traveling with Hendrik, but we're allies now, so we'll have to put the past behind us. Oh I feel a bit nervous around him, to be honest. Should I be calling him sir? He thinks Tran, proclaiming him the Luminary and the Scion of the legendary hero Erdwin, and just as the castle is beginning to fill with joy at the realization that Erdrea is free from the threat of Mordigan's machinations, darkness falls. It seems that the star, known as Erdwin's Lantern, is falling from the sky. Hedrick joins the party, pledging to be the Luminary's shield, and friends take to the road once more, this time to investigate the troubling descent of the star.
Yeah, looks like new monsters, because I don't remember any dragons being around. Oh, wrong one. Yep. Loot he drops. Serpent skin and serpent soul. Okay. I hear the king sending you to the Emerald Coast to see what's going on with Urban Slanter. Well, I'm sure you know the way, but it's southeast of here. It shouldn't take you too long if you get yourself a horse. Urban Slanter has watched over Erdria for generations. For it to follow the sky is more than a little worrying. I have no idea what's going on, but I've got a pretty strong suspicion it isn't good. This is all a bit worrying. The monsters roaming around Hillidor have got a whole lot nastier all of a sudden, so we're on high alert. I've never seen anything like it. Some of them downright terrifying. If you plan on wandering around out there, be sure to keep your wits about you. Do I not have zoom anymore? I do. Okay, why, don't I, why wouldn't I just warp? Uh, anyways, I'm going to explore this area first, and then I want to see if I can go to um, Angrila. Well, I guess I'll go ahead and put on my traveling gear. Actually, we'll do that later. Not when I'm not recording. I'll probably try farming these these enemies. I'm assuming I'm still overpowered for the enemies, but there's no guarantee. I, I could actually be weaker by this point because these are the third class of enemies. Well, Hendrik did join at 30-something, so should be okay. Monsterology Major, rewarded for defeating 400 different species of monster. Alright, is that everybody in this region? There are still two more. That was a close shave, all right. I was going for a little wander when a monster I've never seen before jumped out at me. A proper nasty blighter it was, too. We've never had anything but tiddlers around here until now, and some of the places crawling with hulking great terrors. I'd recommend saying your prayers at the statue and resting at the campsite before you head off anywhere. You don't want to go out there unprepared.
could be nighttime monsters, maybe. It's one heck of a bomb. There's a huge crash from off to the south of here not so long ago. From what I can make out, the Nubinari's lantern came down slap bang in the middle of the desert near Galopolis. If you want to take a look from a safe distance, I reckon your best bet would be to head east to the Emerald Coast. I wonder why they keep telling me to go east to the Emerald Coast. Why not just like go to Galopolis? Like, I, I don't get it, but first let's see if we can go to Angra Law. Is that something that we've uncovered? Alright, so we will have to... what's near it? I think Galopolis is near it. Tran tries to cast Zoom, but a mysterious power presents the spell from working. Okay, so I guess that's why I can't just zoom. Alright, fine. Yeah, this also leads to the Emerald Coast. enormous. You can say that again. What the heck is it? It's giving off waves of... Oh, I don't know what, but... Whatever it is, it's certainly not pleasant. Well, then it can't be Erdwin's Lantern, can it? We need to do something about it, whatever it is. But how do we even get up there? Well, well, dear Luminary. It seems you were in quite the pickle. Huh? 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 But how? Mordigan, you're alive. You're seeing me as Mordigan now, you say? How very intriguing. Seer? Well, no need to panic. I'm not Mordigan. It's me. The one you people call the seer. Wait, how can you be the seer? Oh, anyone can be the seer, my young friend. Or should I say, seer can be anyone. Depends on how you look at things, really. Anyway, we can't have you all on edge like this now, can we? One moment. <sighs> There. Now, where were we? Ah, yes. I was having a lovely vision of you all, riding Cetacea to see the Watchers. Um, what the heck are you talking about? Let's just say that the hallowed tones of the Flute of Legend will carry you to every corner of the land, and leave it at that, shall we? The what of the what will what? Honey, you're not making any sense. You don't have much time, you know. I wouldn't stand there gawping like that if I were you. Hmm. <gasps> I don't know how legendary it is, but we do have a flute. Do you think this could be the one? Nope. Well, it's the only one we've got. Can't hurt to give it a go. You know how much trouble we could have saved if you had just given this to me in the beginning of the game? Huh? <gasps> I'm not even sure we would need have, have needed all orbs. Anybody else seeing kind of a huge, enormous whale um, flying through the air? Didn't the seer mention us riding something called Cetacea? Oh my, she couldn't have meant that, could she? Hmm? What? 
What's that gormless grin for? Anyone would think you went flying around on whales for fun. So he does remember. If he... Maybe? I mean, maybe it's just a... He gets a flashback and he's like, Oh, I have a good feeling about the whale, but... If he, if he does remember, why did he let Mordigan get away with so much? I don't know. I'm, it's just... Well, I'm game if you are. All aboard! We've got a whale to catch, and some watches to meet. <laughs> 